All right, so now we're under the CRV, and we're gonna get the cover off to the diff right here. Um, these are all gonna be little eight millimeters. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen all those off. Uh, drain the fluid. These are gonna be two 17 millimeters. Um, the nut that's right here, as you can see, is gonna be a uh, 34 millimeter. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and break that off. It's not gonna be on there too tight, so it shouldn't be an issue. Once you get the, the nut off, there's gonna be this little washer behind it and then this little plastic one. Let's go ahead and save those. And then once you get the cover here off, this is gonna come down and then behind it is gonna be this little plastic washer. So go ahead and save that. I like to go ahead and mark the top so that I know how to line it up better when I go to get the drive shaft back in. As you can see, I got the wagon viscous coupler here. And you see how I have it lined up. Then it's gonna go to the top. This is gonna make it more, um, this can make it easier for when I go to put the drive shaft back in. All right, let's go ahead and get the rest of the stuff off. All right, as you can see, I just got all the eight millimeter bolts out. And uh, what you do from here, you get yourself like one of these little mini breakers. See a really short one. And then you can just um, lightly pry at these um, pry locations on both sides and at the top. And as you can see, it's starting to weep there because I just cracked the seal. And then go ahead and slide this out. All right, now this cover here just slides on out. After you get everything loose, that's gonna be inside there, along with this guy. So he just goes on like that. So go ahead and put that to the side in your stack of parts here, and don't lose it. All right, go ahead and get yourself a razor blade, and go ahead and make sure that the the mating surface is gonna be nice and clean, because um, you want that to seal good when you go ahead and put a um, new gasket maker on that. So go ahead and do that. All right, pro tip for anyone doing this, these little eight millimeters here um, can get a lot of this OEM gasket maker um, kind of screwed up in the threads. So if you run into this issue where some of them seem like sticky, so when Honda did this from the factory, they got a lot of like of the uh, gasket maker inside of these. Go ahead and like chase these out and then clean them really well and get like a whole stack of um, Q-tips and then go in, go in there and clean them out really well and then blast them out with some brake cleaner to get all the little fuzzies out from the Q-tips, um, make sure that these are really clean so that you don't run into issues of these um, cross threading because uh, it could be a pain. The two up top here, um, for me especially, were giving me issues, but I got those cleaned out now and um, I have them uh, pretty much biting decently well, so I was able to save those two. So yeah, if you run into that issue, go ahead and clean them out. All right, now here we are. Just about install the HRG Engineering clutch pack delete plates, everything's good to go. Um, I noticed this about my pinned and welded clutch pack. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but it seems like it's shaking around a little bit. Um, this is the first time I've had it off since I've installed it. I have um, quite a few thousand miles on this, so I'm excited to give the, the plates a go. And I don't know if you can hear that, but there's nothing. And then with the pinned and welded, looks like those are a little bit loose. I'm not sure if that's gonna cause any long-term issues, but yeah, ready to get this installed. Don't forget to swap over the little spacer. Nice clean surface, with some new gasket maker, just letting it um, tack up. A nice clean surface here. And uh, don't forget that those little, two little teeth right there. Those are gonna go over on the two little teeth on the other side. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, now this is all done. I just got all my eight millimeters snug down. I have my 34 millimeter nut here uh, tightened down and I also have it staked down so this doesn't back out on me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 24 hour cure time before I fill this back up with fluid. Um, uh, and then I'll be ready to go. I'm really excited about having this new option 
with the uh, HRG engineering clutch back delete plates. It was super easy install. I could do this all in one day. I don't have to go uh, source a welder like I did last time in order to do some nice welds around my um, pinned clutch back. And uh, this also doesn't have that weird jiggle in it from uh, the the pin one that I was noticing, which is which is odd. I'm not gonna have any balancing issues with with this either. So yeah, this is gonna be good to go. Um, gonna take it camping this weekend. So yeah, really excited about this new option, and um, it's gonna be a perfect setup with my viscous coupler. I just gotta get the uh, fluid changed out in this because this is you know the original fluid, so needs a maintenance. Um, and yeah, we're ready to go. It's just that easy, guys.